Hey guys, this is Scott from Metalhead Software, and I'm here to take you through our fourth Super Mega Baseball 2 reveal video. Today's video is going to be on the subject of lineup and roster management, and some of the changes and improvements we've made in the game to make lineup and roster management more meaningful and more interesting. First up is changes to roster size and composition. So in SMB1, you had a roster of 18 players, made up of your 8 position players, 4 bench players, and a pitching staff of 6, half starters, half relievers. In SMB2, you're going to see one extra bench player, one extra starting pitcher, and one extra relief pitcher. So that's going to add a little bit of depth to the roster without uh, going all the way to you know realistic roster sizes where you're you know thinking about players that almost never see the field. Next up is changes to primary and secondary positions. So in SMB1, primary and secondary positions were both individual positions. In SMB2, secondary positions can now be no position at all or one position, or classes of positions like outfield, infield, or utility. Related to that, you'll be able to move your players around defensively during the game. So between the larger bench, the more flexible secondary positions, and allowing defensive positional swaps in the game, we should be able to make defensive positioning overall more meaningful. So for example, in SMB1, you may have been able to get away with putting a catcher at shortstop. Uh, that's not going to fly at SMB2. Mm. Next up, a couple more things on lineup utilization. Uh, double switches are in the game now, so those obviously come in handy in certain situations. In general, the AI is going to be a lot smarter about utilizing their lineup, whether that means using double switches themselves, making sure that their pitchers aren't batting when they shouldn't be, or even doing things like making defensive substitutions late in close games. One more related change is in how Mojo works in the game. I'll remind you that Mojo is almost like a psyche or confidence type mechanic that primarily affects how players perform under pressure, but also some other subtler things. In SMB1, Mojo didn't carry over from game to game, but in SMB2, it will to some degree. This is going to create the effect of streaks or slumps and create some interesting emergent situations in seasons where, for example, a guy that might be your usual starting shortstop is so cold that you might have a utility infielder serving as your starting shortstop in a pennant race deciding game. That's it for today. Uh, in upcoming videos, we'll start to touch on changes to the on-field mechanics and things like game modes and online play. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.